for watching 7's 4.30 News. Today we're breaking with the usual format of the bulletin because this is the last time I will sit in this chair. I've decided after 46 years it's time to retire. And over all those years, even though we've seen some wonderful advances in many fields, I remember the very first radio bulletin I read in 1959 started with the words, more trouble in the Middle East tonight. Unfortunately, it seems some things never change. But change in all our lives is inevitable. So I'd like to thank all those viewers that I've met over the years and all those I haven't, especially the thousands who tune in every day at 4.30, including Joan and the Tapestry Ladies at Baraba in the middle of New South Wales. It's been a privilege to serve behind this desk for so long. Rebecca Madden will be with you from Monday, but from me, it's goodbye. For over four decades, David Johnston's name has been synonymous with news. Here now is the Herald Sun Late Night News with David Johnston. Good evening. The assassination of John F. Kennedy in 1963 was the biggest news event since television began. It was also his first night reading a prime time bulletin. He quickly earned a name for himself, covering everything from the disappearance of Prime Minister Harold Holt and the Westgate Bridge collapse to rock stars. There is a story going around that you, uh, uh, someone tried to smuggle some pot into the country. In 1977, he shocked colleagues, quitting to run a news agency. But three years later, returned to read news at Channel 10, taking it to number one in Melbourne. Good evening, I'm David Johnston. And I'm Yana Vent. Seven News lured him back in 1996. He was there for the biggest events of our time, including the Port Arthur Massacre and the funeral of Princess Diana. Good evening, David Johnston from London. Today, a city subdued after the emotional and physically exhausting funeral and burial of Diana, Princess of Wales. But he could also see the lighter side of life. She's from Queensland and she... Ugh, <laughs> all over me. When the Iraq war began, he was brought in to read a new national afternoon bulletin, which became a permanent fixture. Good afternoon and welcome to this 7 News special report on the strike on Iraq. A witness to history, a leader in his field, but to his friends, he will always be known affectionately as DJ.